So first step, what you would need to do is to unscrew the screw from the end cap and take off this end cap. Once you take off the end caps from both end, you will notice over here is the motor head, right? And over here is we call it a spring system. And you would need to get a Phillips head screw, uh, screwdriver. Give me one second. Or, yeah, this one works too. I mean, anything, just a pain to it. It has a spring, as you can see. There we go. And it pops out. Okay. And over here, you just slide off from the, the other bracket. Now, you will notice that the shade is connected together over here. Uh, the fabric's connected with the, with the cassette valance. That's what we call it. Um, I mean, the, this cassette is a little bit different than the one you received, but the logic is the same. So it has a groove on the back. Let me show you real quick. Over here, that we insert the fabric through this all the way, okay? Now, I, we believe that uh, during transition, the, the fabric may shift. So part of this uh, fabric came out of the track. You know, it's just like a train, you know, going out of track. So what we need to do is to slide this off completely, completely slide it off. Yep. And then what you want to do is to re-put this thing back into the track, clean, and making sure it's uh, facing this way. Let me show you. So you fold it. Let me see, let me show you. So you see, this is the way it looks like with the staple on this end. You fold it, and you insert this back into the track. All right. So even though you fold it, okay, let me go this way. Even though you fold it, you see the fabric still this part on top. The folded one with a hard tape goes through the track all the way to this end, all right? So it will look like this, okay? Now the whole fabric is supposed to be nice and neat inside the track in position, okay? And once you're done with this, Making sure this charging portal is facing up, and then you plug this into this bracket. And let's go to this side. Use your finger, pop the paint back in, slide it into the hole, and you will hear it click. Great. And that's it. So then you put back the two end caps, one on each side, screw it back. And the shade is now it re is repositioned. Then you can hand it up back to the brackets, making sure it you know installed stably. Um, and let's try it again from there.